Idol can be a physical image. Image. You know, God is jealous. See, jealous. Nothing moves God to jealousy. Psalm 78, I think verse 58. God is moved. Psalm 78, 58. God is moved to jealousy when he see a person who bow his head to an image. Can I say this to you? Can I offend you? Can I offend you now? Those images, some people in some place say they bow to, that they are praying to, is idol. It's idol. You don't bow to an image. You don't bow to an image. Physical image you bow down to is an idol. Any image at all, no matter what it is. If the way God in Hosea 4, I believe verse 17, he said, Ephraim has joined himself to idols, leave him alone. Don't relate with him. Don't talk to him. Don't communicate with him. Leave him alone. He has joined himself with idols, leave him alone. I am the Lord. Psalm 42 verse, Isaiah 42 verse 8. I am the Lord. That is my name. My praise. I will not give to Sa Isaiah 42 and verse 8. I will not give my praise to a graven image. I am the Lord. That is my name. If somebody talks like that, it's wrong. I meet Edda Lawrence now. I say, I am John C. Suleiman. That is my name. For me to talk like that, it means I feel you are doubting me. Huh? For me to call myself and tell you this name I just called is my name. I feel you have me in doubt. So anyone who has an alternative doubts God. Sit down, sir. First Thessalonians 1 9. He said, Turn from idols to serve the living God. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I said, glory be to the name of the Lord. When you worship idols, you go backwards. Your life goes backwards. Your life goes backwards. Isaiah 42 verse 17. It's not just only going backwards. You live a life of shame. Isaiah 17. They shall be turned back. They shall greatly be ashamed. That trust in graven images that say to the mountain images, you are our gods. A physical image. Number two, there are people that have idols in their hearts. This one, you're not worshipping it, but it's in your heart. It's in your heart. Idols in their hearts. Ephesians, sorry, Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 3 and verse 4. These idols are there. Their thoughts have become their worship. Some are so depressed, Ezekiel 14. Some are so depressed. Some are so depressed. They spend time in thoughts. Their idols are in their hearts. They have so many plans that have taken the place of God. 24 hours, there's no God in their thinking. All their plans about themselves. They have become their own idol. They are now worshipping themselves. Somebody plan and thinks in his heart and in meditates on the thought, there is no place for God Almighty. It can be very terrible. It doesn't matter your size, your age. There are people, if they open their mouth to talk, you can't hear God in their plans. No wonder he said to children in 1 John 5, 21, little children, keep yourself from idols. Some of you looking at me right now, your handset is your idol. You didn't come, on, you didn't come here with Bible. You came with phone and charger. Hmm. 
If your Bible lost, no problem. If your charger lost. If you don't find your Bible, you don't even care. In fact, you even have, have the Bible in your phone. So why would you care? If your charger is missing, or your iPad, or your laptop, misses 24 hours of the day. Now, do you know, if you put together the time you spend on your phone a day, on your phone, with your phone, a day, hours, if you convert that to prayer, by now, there would have been no coven in your hometown. People who carry their food, they are just look, they are, they are looking for, just looking for what's not looking for them. They are looking for. Hmm? Nigeria. Okay, we are watching. Eh? Abuja. They are eating our money. We are watching. Hey, America. Me. I will stay in America. It's London I want to stay. Eh? Look at London I'm planning to go to. <laughs> you are full. You are over, overclouded. Before the handset came, the mobile phone came. I remember the, the very first time I saw a mobile phone in Lagos. I was living in Lagos then. I remember the very first time I saw a mobile phone. First time. Before the mobile phone came, were we, were we surviving? We were? Are you sure? We were surviving? We even had peace, right? But today, I was telling the story one time in Sierra Leone. When you get to Sierra Leone, you land in, a, in their airport. They call it Lunge Airport. From there, you take a ferry or a ship or a boat going to Freetown, going to Kenema, going to Bo, going to some part of Sierra Leone. I was told the story about a girl who landed in Lunge Airport. Bam! She was from a, a, one of the Asian countries. They were doing tourism. She landed. She now landed. They now carried her. They ferried her. Took her to where they would take the ferry. They take you with a bus from the airport. Um, the Lunge Airport, they take you to where you take the ferry and you go. They took her to where they took, they put the ferry. About nine of them in the little boat. She entered. She will burn. She will take picture. She will burn. She will take. She burn, burn until she fell. She took selfie, selfie, selfish and entered fish. Fell into the water. The divers dive. And... What picture can do? It's crazy. Many are addicted. Their phone has become their idol. Sometimes keep it. Some days just keep it. Hey, look at your face. Eh? Keep it. <laughs> Some days keep it. Just choose to just be with God. Because what takes your time most is your idol. What takes your reference, what takes your attention most has become your idol. Oh my God. I see God setting someone free. I see God setting someone free. Idols are powerless. Idols are powerless. Don't let nobody threaten you. Maybe your mother. I'm not you know that there are some houses where they have a room for idols. Idols. Some have a room for idols. Once you get born again, spend time with God, receive a prayer backup, get those things destroyed. Don't get, don't get this twisted. Get born again, spend time with God, receive a prayer backup. Don't just move there with zeal. Prayer back up. They have them in a room. Because one time I was to go pray for a family. When they opened a, a living room, like what they call the city room, the parlor, when they opened it, see all kinds of iron, carvings. See, that was their father's strong room. 
cobwebs everywhere. Full room. How will people prosper there? And you are from that kind of lineage. And as far as you are concerned, you are born again, you are born again. No. Let's be sincere. You are born again now. How is your life? How is your dream life? How is your finances? How is your health? You can pretend. You can choose to hide under the, under the carpet and just say, no, 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 this is a by faith. It's true. That's by faith. Let's be real now. How is your life? You have been a tenant for 20 years. They now give you title, caretaker. You can, you can pretend. I remember then in Benin, a girl was stopping the taxi. She went, she went to Sapler Road. She was stopping the taxi. Taxi, at McMarvel. At McMarvel. <laughs> taxi, at McMarvel. The man said, where are you going? At McMarvel. The place is called at McMarvel. The guest, at McMarvel. At McMarvel. So the man said, 500 naira. And she screamed, ah, not that bad for you. Yeah? <laughs> when they gave her bill, at McMarvel left her mouth. <laughs> Am I communicating here? Every connection you have to anything idolatry, either by reason of what your parents got themselves involved into, by reason of what you entered into unconsciously today but the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel, i declare you free 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 to tell you how, take your seats. Can I go on? To tell you how dangerous idolatry is. Idolatry is classified alongside with witchcraft. So everyone that has gone to bow his head for a demon or idol is classified as a witch. Galatians 5 and 20. God began to talk about seditions, emulations, revilings, idolatry. Okay, it says idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, rot, strife, sedition, heresies. Look at that. Idolatry is side by side with what? Witchcraft. Either you are the one that went there or you sent your money. Say, let me go and check. All of you that go and check, you say, no, I, I'm not killing anybody. No, no, I, God forbid. I want to check my future. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's protection, it's protection. It's not to hurt anybody, just protection. You have ever collected a charm. Look at young boys these days. They call them Yahoo Plus. You know, let me say this. Do you think if that way is pure, people will leave it for you? No, let me say this now. Do you think if that way is pure? You think people don't know? can go and meet charm, do this, do that. But the people know. Why don't they follow it? Because they know the end. Sometimes when people act as if they are smart, you are not smart. People knew how to do certain things, but they refused to do it because they know how it ends. And you go ahead, you do it, you become a victim. And a lot of people have done that. When I was in secondary school, they used to give people a ring that anybody you slap will start eating grass. I, I saw it work. I saw it with my eyes. Somebody was, no. They pushed him. He just turned. He put something in his hand and gives up. Power! The guy just stood up. And when that, I was cutting grass. People carried the guy. They were hailing him. He, he. The last time, I don't want to mention his name because some, he's, he's a popular guy in town here. He was then. The last time I saw him at Ring Road, that's how I was bouncing. <laughs> I knew his face. <laughs> very, very focused in trekking. He 
years, years ago. I saw him and I read, I said, this must be one of the benefits and dividends. Very focused. Just going. <laughs> hmm. So you need to pray. If you have ever gotten yourself involved in any of such things. And that is why we are here. And as we pray, the power of God will set you free. Number what now? I'm going to stop in number eight. Strong men. Kabada. Ikoto Sekapa. Strong men. Strong men. Strong men are initiators of strongholds. Strongholds. Who has been demonically endowed to pick your life as a project? To pick your life and pick your affairs? Luke chapter 11 verse, 20, verse 21. Start from 21. Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11. When a strong man armed, number one, Strong men are armed. When you want to pray against strong men, you pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, the strong man of my father's house, I disarm you. The arm of the strong man is weapons. Is arm. Can we do the message translation? I, I always like the way the message goes. <laughs> when a strong man armed to the teeth, Armed. Stands guard in his front yard. His property is safe and sound. It is not actually his property, it's your property he took and kept. Number one, strong man is armed. Number two, a strong man has a storehouse. The Bible says his palaces. A strong man is armed. A strong man has a storehouse. Number three, a strong man has your goods. He has what belongs to you. Today as we pray, anything, whether it is wealth, whether it's marriage, whether it's health, prosperity, that is yours. That is kept in any storehouse. Fire will shatter it. Take your seat. A lady will go for go to interview. Blah 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 blah. Hey, 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 hey. They ask a question after a while. They say, come back for your visa. When she comes back, there's a problem. They cannot find her passport. To tell her we are sorry, we can't find your passport. She has an affidavit, go back, does another passport. She goes there again. They ask her questions and all of that. Time to collect her visa. They can't find her passport. It happened once, twice, thrice, ten. It happened eleven times. She refused. Say, I'm not, it's not my destiny to travel. A prophetic word came on her to do another one. She said, I've done eleven. And she went for the interview, did it. 
when she did it, they said, come for your passport. When she came, she was given 12 passports. Meaning, and visas in all the other 11 passports had expired. It wasn't missing. Something covered it. A young girl in the 60s, a, she was a young girl in the 60s. That was the period of the missionaries. When missionaries come, you know, they took care, uh, care of people and all of that. She was a missionary. So the way she was attending to the white men, they send her, she come back very honest, very straightforward. They were watching her. One of them now said they will take her abroad. They will take her to America. She now asked for permission to go to Oshobo, that's somewhere in the west, to go and see her people. She went there, told her mom and her dad that they want to take her abroad. She was the only child. The parents said, take you abroad for what? Is it so I will live with white people? I'll be bringing money? The father said, I'm coming. Father left, came back some black substance, called her, rubbed her forehead, rubbed the back of her head. As she went back to where the white men were, it's like she was irritating them. Hatred from nowhere. They didn't want to set eyes on her. When the father did that, what was the father saying? You can never travel. What happened? This lady grew up, went into oil. She became a very wealthy woman. Very wealthy, but there's a problem. She cannot leave the country. She was relating to her former president. Not the, the past one. There was an, there's a, a president, the one that went to prison and from prison became president. No, I'm talking about. She was a friend to that one. That one wrote in his card. Wrote on the letter heading. Gave it to the embassy for them to give her American visa. They bounced her. Wait. Bill Clinton was the president at that time. This man, because of how close she was to our president, our president called the president of the U.S. and said, talk to the people there. Let the consular attend to so and so. The man said, what time is he going? He called them. When the woman got there, they bounced her. Our children, no one. They end up going to university in Kotonou, go, go to Ghana. They say, I'm they, what? Spirit is stronger than the physical. I'm talking about strong men. They bounce out. There are some people, it is, people. Some people are going to the embassy. Nothing they don't carry. They will carry account statements. They will carry land documents. They will carry blood group. In fact, they will carry Nepal B. They will carry, <laughs> they will carry the whole street. Everything, all the podcast of the children, the whole streets. They pack all of them, they photo start them, they carry everything. See full, I'll be to the embassy with them what I used to. I'll see full document. I said, What's happening? They must give me. They must give me. That's where they're going. And you ask yourself, when you just get there, they don't even ask you. In fact, when you are too prepared, they suspect you. No, they suspect you. They know that you are. <laughs> This one, they give him a visa. He's not coming back. <laughs> I've seen a man, they said, um, why do you want to travel? He said, please, please. I said, yeah, this one is not going. This one is not going anywhere. A man took his children and his wife. They got to the embassy. The child was greeting the, the, the lady over at the counter. Good morning, ma'am. The lady, the answer, was pressing the computer. Good morning. Auntie, I said, good morning. Auntie, good morning. Daddy, let's go. This auntie is wicked. Let's go. Woman said, come, come. <laughs> this one will travel. The one that was not prepared. They ask a young boy. They say, are you a student? Say, yes. What's your football club? What football club do you like? He said, Eyimba. They say, they say this one abroad. will come back. This one, I like Eyimba. If he had mentioned one foreign club, they bounce them. I remember one time I was going to the U.S. I went to renew my visa. I was tired when I went there. When I got there, they say, when is your date of traveling? I forgot because I just came from a program. I forgot the date. They say, when date is the program? I say, oh, I can't remember. Ah. How long are you staying? I say, I don't stay more than three days. They say, are you sure you are going to come back? <laughs> I say, if you have a job for me, I will stay. <laughs> what kind of stupid question is that? Is that my father's house? They say, you can't remember the date? I say, I can't. Okay. You just came from a trip. I said, yeah. I said, I'm so, can you just be fast? I'm very tired. He said, what did he say? I said, attend to me fast. I'm tired. It's all right. Pick your visa in two days. <laughs> I 
I, I was, I said, thank you. How do I go out? He was just looking at me. <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said, how do I go out? He said, this way. I said, no, this place is too crowded. Is there any shutter? He said, my friend, you are not in your house. I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I left. But I, I knew. <laughs> I saw documents that day. See documents. <laughs> Somebody shall favor. And there are some people, they don't ask questions. There are some people that just wake up from, on the wrong side of the bed and say, today, nobody's getting visa in this country. Nobody's getting visa. Before you talk, no. <laughs> Before you say anything, no. You can't travel. What have I done? No. <laughs> Something follows certain people. Are you following what I'm talking about? And let me say this to you. Every one of you hearing my voice now. The places your parents could not enter. The things their hand could not handle. By the mercy of God, you will handle it. Strong man is arm. Strong man has a storehouse. Strong man has your goods. He said, hey, stronger than me, bind the strong man. Are you ready to pray? Yes, we are going to start with the last prayer and we'll progress upward. We are going to pray every strong man sitting on my case. I bind you. He said, whatsoever we bind on earth. Come on, talk to me. Whatsoever we bind on. Whatsoever we bind on. On where? On where? On where? On where? Shall be bound where? Now, the Bible never says what we bind in heaven shall be bound on earth. See what we bind on earth. So it is earth that determines what heaven binds. It is we that determines what heaven binds. If we keep quiet, heaven binds nothing. Any strong man sitting on my case, I bind you. I bind you, I take back my goods. 